Should I buy gold or food? Good question. Stay tuned for my answer. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. I hope you enjoy the video. First, let's start off with gold. What are the positives? What are the negatives of gold? There are a lot of positives and some negatives. So, let's get into that. Positive number one, retaining value. Throughout time, gold has proven itself to main, always to maintain a value, to have intrinsic value, unlike the fiat currency that is our dollar. Much different. So, no matter what the situation is, gold will have value. But, let's get into some negatives. You might think I'm going somewhere with this, but I'm actually heading a different direction. The first negative is weight. Gold weighs a lot. It's not as portable as other forms of currency. If you're bugging in, it may not be an issue. But if you're bugging out, it could be a big issue. Depending on your situation, how you're going to be utilizing it. Weight could be a big issue. What's another issue with gold? Well, a lot of people say you can't eat it. That is true. You can't. But in what situations may gold be a good idea? In the beginning of an event, before things get really bad, or it's pro it progresses far enough where people aren't interested in gold anymore, they want things that will feed them, keep them fed, allow them to grow their own food, and or other things that become more important to them. But in the short term, at the beginning of a collapse, SHTF, whatever you want to call it, gold might be the answer. Let's get back to a positive about gold. One thing about gold, it never goes bad. Food, however, can go bad, but we'll get to food. Stay tuned for that. The important aspects of why you should choose food versus gold. This section is about gold versus food, though. So, yes, it will never go bad. It does not rust. It does not decay. It just is. So that's one more positive for gold. Another negative of gold is the divisibility of it. Even if you have a tenth of an ounce or a hundredth of an ounce, that still represents a sizable amount of money. It's why I prefer silver over gold. Junk silver, meaning 90% silver, 1964 and older U.S. currency that includes dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollars. I really like dimes. Why? Divisibility. So that's one thing. If you need to go buy a loaf of bread or a dozen eggs at the local barter area after SHTF happens, the collapse, whatever it is, you may not, you may not want to use your gold to buy a loaf of bread. Just saying. Another negative about gold is the fact that you may not have a way to test to make sure that it actually is gold or is solid gold versus just plated to make it look like gold. So people may be out there trying to fool you, push off something that looks like gold and they say is gold, but it actually isn't. Here's another negative about gold. Gold is easier to steal. So if somebody comes into your residence, it's much easier for them to steal some gold and to make off with it than your food storage. Because food is much more bulky, thus they can't carry as much with them. So that's another thing to think about. Bonus positive for gold. Most people don't think about the other uses of gold. Due to its high conductivity, it is used in electronics a lot. Everything from terminals to semiconductors to thin films on satellites to protect from thermal radiation, as well as astronauts, face shields, and other things like that. So gold has many other uses than just as a monetary system. 
Before we get into food, let's talk about the ease of acquisition. It is much easier to go down to a store and buy food than it is to buy gold. You have to go to a specific gold and or silver precious metals dealer or buy it online. So food is much easier to acquire. Speaking of ease of acquisition, food is much easier to acquire without drawing any undue attention to yourself because everybody buys food. Not everybody buys gold. So going to the store and buying food is just a normal thing. Nobody will ever think anything differently. Okay, so let's talk about food. Food is something that we have to have. It is a necessity of life. So this is why I personally choose food over gold because I can't eat gold. I don't need gold. Like I said, it may be able to get you the things you need, but if you have the things you need, such as food, water, etc., then you'll already be good. So food is the top of my list, just like most other preppers, stockpiling food is number one. So let's cover some negatives about food. The biggest one I already mentioned, food goes bad. Most of it anyway. There's a lot of them that don't. Honey, sugar, salt, grains last a long time. I mean, they found wheat in the tomb of pharaohs in Egypt, unearthed after being there for thousands of years, and it was still viable. It still sprouted. So, some foods have longer shelf lives, some have shorter, but the fact is almost all of it will eventually go bad. One thing to note about food though, and the expiration thereof, is best buy dates and or expiration dates. These are put on canned goods, all foods, because the manufacturers want you to throw away the food so that you'll buy more. The fact is many foods are good long past their best buy dates and or their expiration dates. But be smart about it. I know that they have opened up canned goods from World War II and they were still okay. They may not look as pretty as they once did, but they're still nutritionally sound, maybe not as much as they were, but they're still edible. So remember that when you're talking about food. Another positive of food is divisibility. If you're in a barter situation and you want to barter some food, it is probably easier to get smaller amounts of it for bartering for things of equal value than it is with gold. So that's another positive for food. Let's cover another negative about food. Food takes up a lot of space to store. Yes, gold is heavy, but it takes up a lot less room to store gold than it does food. Food is bulky and heavy. So that's something you need to think about also. If you're bugging out, you could take a lot more gold with you, actually, than you can food because of the bulk of it. Not necessarily just the weight, but both factors come into play in your decision for food or gold. One good answer is both gold and food. Then you're covered on all bases. Bonus food positive. There's no markup other than inflation. What I mean by that is when you go to buy gold, you pay above spot. Thus, you're paying more than what it's worth, hoping that it'll go up. Food is not that way. You pay what it is, plain and simple. So as you can see, there are pluses and minuses, positives and negatives of food, and gold. It's your decision. You need to figure out what fits your needs in the best possible manner. Please put in the comments below how you feel about gold or food. What is more important to you? What are the positives and negatives in your mind? I haven't covered all of them, so it's a good conversation to have with others. Talk about so that other people can make an informed decision because that's the best way to go about doing it. It's not just my opinion, it's not just what I talked about. 
It's about learning both sides of the story and figuring it out for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.